I'm going to create a new PhoneGap 3.1 project on Windows. It's an Android project and it uses the version 4 Moodstocks SDK. First up, I'm going to create the project. Here the package name is com.imactivate.example. You can see that that's created a folder and then we need to go into that folder and add the Android build target. Now we need to add the plugin. Get the URL of the plugin on GitHub and copy it to the clipboard. Now we add the plugin at the command line. This installs the camera dependency, so that's the camera plugin as well. Now that we've created our projects, we can open it up in Eclipse. So we copy the directory to the project, open Eclipse with the Android developer tools, we're using Eclipse here because PhoneGap support for Android Studio still isn't great. Let's import the new project that we've just created. And now we can start running through the things that we need to do on the installation guide. First up, we download the version 4 Moodstocks SDK for Eclipse. These are the native code elements that allow Moodstocks to work. And we just copy the libs folder into the project. Next we can get rid of the example.java, it might have a different name depending what package name you chose. And we need to replace it with mainactivity.java. Now we need to set the API key and the API secret in mainactivity.java. I'm going to use a throwaway key and secret that I have. You can get a trial account for free and just copy that that in or you can copy in whatever projects API key and secret you're using with Moodstocks. Now we need to tidy up a lot of the references in all of the Java files. When you download the plugin it refers to com.imactivate.ms4tom and every one of those needs to be changed to the package name that you have selected for your project. In this case, when I created the PhoneGap project, it was com.imactivate.example, but you will have a different package name. So we need to go through every Java file and change it so that the package names are correct. There's still some errors in most of the Java files. And the reason for this is because we're using fragments which are only supported in API levels 11 and above. So we need to go to the Android manifest and set the minimum SDK version to 11. While we're here, we can also get rid of the Android debuggable flag change the Android name of the activity to main activity and change the theme to the newer Holo style.
Once we've saved this, we can see that all of the errors go away. There are a few warnings. These are usually unused imports, which you can tidy up if you want. Now, if you run the Android application, it should work fine on your phone. But it won't be able to do anything yet because we haven't implemented any code that runs the Moodstocks SDK. Let's do that now. If we look in the zip that I downloaded from GitHub for the Moodstocks 4 plugin, there's a folder called Demo. We need to copy everything that's in that demo folder. It's just one HTML file and two images into the assets www folder of the project that we're using. And we can replace and overwrite any files there. That's it. If everything works, you'll end up with something like this. There's an example app that you can run. It'll sync on startup and you can scan and recognize objects. The code is pretty well commented so you can figure out how everything works for yourself and you can see all of the possible functionality which is implemented within this example. Just one problem at the moment is to do with bundles because in this example it shows that the bundle has loaded okay but actually it hasn't. I'll fix that really soon.